Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Prakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a short lesson. Hopefully, the other one, uh, probably half an hour, hour tops, in regards to um, the Danes, all right, and um, Dan, the tribe of Dan, and um, the Templars, and uh, the Freemasonry. This video was inspired off of, uh, you know, I was watching this video with the uh, with the elder of uh, of London now he's in Scotland but um you know he's uh he was out there by himself man you know from 2009 you know you know during the time of the of the great awakening you know and um you know he's uh standing firm he's doing what he has to do and um uh, making a lot of you know edifying videos you know uploading a lot of content you know going live you know doing what you know that the heavenly father pro you know that, like doing what the heavenly father you know like told us to do you know like who commanded us you know to go out here to warn our people and to edify to teach all right so this is uh this is off of um, the Stonehenge. It says, uh, must watch GMS UK. The, it said the end is nigh too. The high level of, pre of priests or uh, cranks, you know. And, uh, you know, like they went to Sten like Stonehenge, you know. And, um, you know, because, uh, you know, because that's like a big uh, portal. You know, where uh, a lot of magic and things that happen, you know, because uh, our people was heavy into that stuff. So I'm going to uh, share this link and uh, as well as like the other brother in London. Uh, yeah, I'm going to share this link too. This one's a very good one. All right. First one. GMS at Stonehenge High Priest Wizard comes up for uh, chariots up here. For chariots up here. So I'm gonna share this link as well. You know, with that brother, he uh, had his testimony, you know, because they were out there. And um, I'm probably gonna have to do uh, certain things in regards to our history, you know, over here, um, you know, of our people, you know, that came to. Uh, you know i'm gonna go you know i'm gonna flow to your spirit you know like where the um that where the rakak you know is gonna lead so uh hopefully this video is edifying so um let's go because our people was heavy into uh you know the cult or uh, witchcraft and i'm gonna uh, get it you know this is ragna lord brook right if you watch uh that series the vikings you know watch that series if you haven't watched it i i, I uh i tell i i uh demand you you know to watch it all right because that's uh about our history ragna lord brook all right uh, Rana, hairy breach, according to legend, right, was a Danish king, hero of of uh, the Skyland clan or the kings of the Danes, right? So the, the tribe of Dan, right? And um, you know they they were you know they were you know like plunderers, man. They were brutal. They were strong. They're tough, you know, and uh, you know they were heavy into that occult man you know and uh let's get it get the scripture wisdom of solomon because uh it's 
been over five minutes, so let's get a uh, Wisdom of Solomon uh, 12. And I believe one. It's all in the spirit, right? Seeing where the Rakako Dash is going to lead. Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 1. For thy incorruptible spirit is in all things. So the Heavenly Father, you know, like Yahweh, you know, and his son, you know, they're the forerunners. Right? And the Heavenly Father, he's the one who, he's the architect, he's the great grand architect of the universe. And um, for thy incorruptible spirit is in all things, right? So even his son, Solomon, Solomon had that, he, he like he has the authority, all right? And um, let's keep going. It says, therefore chasten thou them by little and little that offend and warn them to put them in remembrance wherein they have offended that leaving their that leaving their wickedness they may believe on thee O lord so you know we have to like believe right and the most that he chastens us right and the most that he chastens us right and they leave in hebrews he said for those who he love he chasteneth all right, so he's chastening us as a nation, you know, and um, you know, we're under the curses according to Deuteronomy 28 15 to 68. The curses that will befall, let the tribes of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, of you know, if we uh, you know, like if we disobey the Heavenly Father, so we're under these curses, man. For it was thy will to destroy, for it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers by those old inhabitants of the land so the you know the canaanites the hamites all right the canaanites you know who was in the land all right and uh you know you know when you know moses you know because you know because moses he he uh, he died and then joshua you know he uh he came you know like to conquer you know like, like the promised land right and uh you know joshua he, uh, you know, uh, you know, he inhabited the land. You know, basically he settled, he settled it up. But um, you know, um, basically, uh, you know, f fast forward. You know, um, you know, our people started. You know, our our people started getting into that witchcraft. You know, what what the Hamite, the Canaanites, was into. All right, and um, it's the same thing, you know, where, uh, you know, prior to the flood, you know, our people was doing the same thing. You know, they're eating, you know, their cannibalism, they're into the cannibalism, child sacrifice, um, all kinds of things, man. You know, um, you know, these pagan rites, you know, orgies, um, whole bunch of confusion, man, you know. And just do as thou wilt, you know, that lust, that beast type, uh, like mentality, right? Whom thou hatest for doing the most odious works of witchcraft and wicked sacrifice, you know, Odin. I'm going to get what, I'm going to see what odious means, because basically it's the same thing. Let's look at that word odious. Just one, uh, um, it's lucky. Odious. So lucky. Bear with me one second. Yeah, so O D Yeah, odious meaning odious, explicit, un explicit or uh, ex uh, slakia 
extremely unpleasant. It says uh, repulsive. Let's look at the etymology. Basically, Odin. Latin Odin or odium, hatred, right? So that guy, um, Ragna, Ragna, all right. Um, you know he was heavy into that stuff, man. You know, and um, you know, and this is what these people are into, man. A whole bunch of um occult occult type practice and magic this is uh hugging and and Munin, all right the norse god a uh hugging or old norse thought and mummin old norse memory of mint mind of a pair of ravens that fly over the world all right and may guard bring in bring information to uh the god odin all right so uh this thing is real you know what i mean people you know like they were doing it back then all right and uh you know there's angels on the right and on the left you know that that could appear in different forms you know whether it be a a, a creature a bird you know or they could come in there you know uh, you know in like in like their human form you know so um it is real man it is real so uh says so the because the angels you know they're the ones who's uh you know like they're the you know like, like, like they're like the keepers of the of the garden you know when you go to Genesis, I believe it's like the last verse, right? Where, uh, about the cherubims, you know, they're uh, you know they go in and out of, out of this dimension, you know, and um, and ultimately, you see Hawa and his son, you know, who is over them. Well, let's keep going. Wisdom of Solomon, twelve and five, or four. Whom thou hatest for doing the most odious workers of witchcraft and wicked sacrifices, and also those merciless murderers of children and devourers of men's flesh and the feast of blood. That's what's you know what's going on. You know that's what they do. They do in here. They're doing it here in the, in the Americas. You know Africa. You know throughout Asia. You know throughout the world. Right, they have these societies, you know, that uh, you know, like that they set up, right, and um, you know, and, like they do their things in secret. They do their wickedness in the secrets, right, with the their priests out of their midst of their idolatrous crew, and the parents, and the parents that killed with their own hands, souls destitute of help, that the land which esteem above all other mighty might receive the worthy colonies of god's children all right so um nevertheless even those that thou even those that thou spirits spirits as men like but that's pretty much the point but you know basically um no the, the lord's gonna do a cleanup all right because uh the whole earth is corrupted all right and um you know so i'm gonna c continue with this whole uh ragna lord you know because that's actual man it wasn't just a cartoon you know and um let's get it i'm gonna get uh daniel 12. I believe it's yeah, daniel 12. And then I'll see where the spirit's gonna lead.
Most like a Genesis uh, 49. All right, this is uh, Jacob, or this is Genesis 49 and 11. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, uh, said, Gather yourself together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Gather yourself together, and hear, ye sons of Jacob, and hear, hearken unto your father. Wow. Hark unto your, hearken unto Israel, your father. All right. So this is Jacob, right? Who was, like, who was, you know, uh, you know, like he was a blessing, like the, his twelve princes. All right. And um, you know, and we're in the last days now. So you know, so Jacob, he's a prophet. You know, and he came back in uh, in his in his different forms. All right. An apostle to heart. He always uh, says that, you know, that Jacob, you know, came back as Moses. You know, Moses came back as David. You know, um, you know, he came, you know, and then ultimately through, uh, you know, King Masha, right, through faith. All right, because these are the forerunners of this ministry, man. All right, he's the rock. All right. So, uh. Genesis 49 and uh, 19 Dan shall judge his people So Dan means judge Alright As one of the tribes of Israel Alright so You know when you go to Revelation 17 Alright It talks about all the other tribes Alright But it doesn't talk about Dan So Revelation 7 and 4 And I heard the number of them which were sealed and there were sealed and hundred and forty four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel so the, you don't see nothing about that you know but ultimately you know that there's uh the Danites right who was in the land of uh, Israel or wherever you know like they're not exterminated they're living and uh Yahweh Shai you know he's gonna um uh, you know he's gonna set up the Danites, you know, because uh, you know a lot of the, the, like the, the you know the Danite they're scattered, you know, throughout the world, and also um, you know some of them are in the uh, you know Greenland, you know like Newfoundland, you know um, Nova Scotia, you know certain parts of Africa they call them like the Dan the Dan people. The leopard people there, uh, they have their secret society, society, um, you know, and uh, the certain parts of Caribbean, like Scotland, you know, and Jamaica, you know, um, and um, I'm gonna do some. I have a lot of, uh, you know, history notes and stuff that I, you know, I uh, wrote down. I'm not gonna go into this. I'm not gonna go into it into this, but. Uh, you know about uh, about Nova Scotia, you know Nova, which means New New Scotland, all right. And uh, you know, but that's not gonna be like the lesson for that today. So we're gonna continue with Genesis forty nine and sixteen. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. All right. So Dan is gonna you know he's gonna come back, or uh, you know like they're gonna come back in their life. Right, and they're gonna be uh you know this is uh you know this is like uh this is like a mirror right and um you know like the Yahweh Shai you know he's gonna uh you no know, crown you know the Dana and uh, crown the elect all right because the t 12 tribes are gonna be crowned already but the you know because uh we, we go into the 12 constellations and all that and stuff and um you know the what do you call it let's look at this so look here yeah? because i believe that um the dan you know which means a serpent right so, you know? You know, um, Dan shall be a serpent, 
that by the way an adder in the path the bider is a the is a the is a that bide if the horse is heel so that his rider shall fall away backward you know because the danites they were big uh raiders man you know and uh I'm gonna get certain notes or uh, certain points. You know, they were uh, they were like brutal. You know, you know the Danes, right? Go into that, boy. Um, one second. It's all about the. It's all. It's all the Rakakwa dash. You know that's gonna lead. So, um, bear with me for a second. So, luck, yeah. Yeah. Or Dan, it's like, yeah. The Dan tax, it's like, yeah. Also, um, let's go, Dan, Dan's Guild, or the Dan tax, or Danix tax, but there's no Danix, there's about the Dan, right? The Dan yield, Dan's yield, or tribute, was a tax raised to pay tribute and over protection money to the viking raiders to save the land from being ravaged right so that's why you know they're big ext uh, extortioners man <laughs> you know and um that's what they did all right and um you know they uh you know they when you read about like the Anglo-Saxon kings, right? Anglo, which means uh, angel. Saxon means uh, Isaac, sons of Isaac, you know? So, um, you know, like ultimately, you know, like that's why we fell, you know? And, um, you know, I believe I come out of Levi or uh, possibly uh, the Danish stuff because, uh, Shire, you know, Yorkshire or Reeve, you know, or Sheriff, you know, they were, um, let's get it. I don't want to butch it because uh, I come out of that stock, you know, through my, my uh, father's side, you know, so I come out of the, the um, English stock. On my father's and then my uh, mother's side we call i come out of the costa or of that stock all right and uh, there's a lot of history of that of that stock you know um in the uh, americas all right it says a uh, sheriff or shy reef right the modern way uh the modern word sheriff means a uh, keeper or chief of the country derived from uh anglo-saxon word shire reef or shire reef right or y york yorkshire right and um our people they had all kind of orders and you know that's why they called it the york right right which was in you know york right which is in york in uh throughout england and then uh, the Scottish, right, right, with the Scots, right, which were, a lot of them were the Danites. And uh, we established, our people established these, uh, you know, like these uh, societies and basically, um, you know, that's why Esau, he wants to act like, you know, like he's so wise and whatever, he's just a copycat. Alright. And, um, yeah, so let's continue to go. Look here. Yeah, it says the protection racket. Protection racket is a typical racket. All right, so uh, the Danes law, 
you know like you know like that's what they're doing man they were extorting you know a protection racket is a type of racket and a scheme organized crime it's a perpetrated by a, like potential hazardous organized organized crime group that is generally guarded and protected outside that the sanctions of the law right let me go into that all right so um you know and um a lot of uh the celts and whatever the celts and all that you know they're um i probably have to do like a part two but um because there's so much information man all right but uh let's continue on the flow in the spirit dan shall be a serpent by the way and add her in the path and bite off the horse's heel so that his rider shall fall away backward and that's why um saint george the dragon slayer you know i'm gonna get that saint george slack i have so much uh pages slack yeah. saint george the dragon slayer You know, I'm gonna get this Saint George the Dragon Slayer. Yeah, if you look at the icon, the Saint George the Dragon Slayer, put icon or you put Negro. You know. See, they are they are dark. They are they are so called black men, dark men. They aren't black. They are brown, dark skinned men. All right. Look at the flag. You know the rose, the cross. All right. Which means uh, you know the X. You know which like Thawa. You know, a lot of our family crescent, you know, they had um, the skull or the skull and crossbones, right? Um, that comes, you know, through my, uh, my, through uh, my mom's side or that side, we come through, I come out of that, you know, if you look at that uh, family crest of, um, hold on one second. Like Gaspar Corte, you know. Um, so our people always been coming back and forth. Um, you know, and there were explorers. Uh, I'm just looking for uh, one second. One second. The court the real family, or it means royal court, right? All right. I participated in a uh, exploration voyage to Newfoundland and Canada, but even before the Vikings were here, so it's like we always were going back and forth, you know, to the wor new world. I'm just looking for um, one second. Yeah, this right here. All right, the cross, you know, the cross, and then uh, the bones, all right, the rib, all right, which means uh, you know, like your rib, you know, your six ribs. Dan shall be a serpent by the way and adder in the path that by of the horse's heel so that his rider shall fall backward 
I have waited for thy salvation, O oh Lord. Because, bro, when the Vikings was in power, man, we had their women, you know, we 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 slaughtered their men, you know, and um, you know, and uh, it's gonna go back, you know, to that, you know, like to that uh, power, man. You know, on the right hand side though. It says, uh, slaves. Slave versus Vikings. You know, cause you know, Slav. You know, we used to call, you know, the Edomite Slav. And, uh, there was a slave. You know, we had, uh, you know, the so-called uh, Edomite men and women into uh, into slavery, man. All right, so uh, it says, um, are uh, Viking Germanic or Slavonic? No, they're Germanic. You know, they're just Celts. You know, and um, I think. I might uh, see where the spirit's gonna lead, but um, I think that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna share. Want you guys to share this link? GMS at Stonehenge. High priest wizard comes up for chair to appear. All right, I'm gonna share this link, and uh, as well as. Uh, this uh you know this brother this uh you know uh, you know much watch gms the end is nigh to high level priests or cranks right so uh this is a uh, new it's a new it's a sabbath you know full moon sorry so i'm kind of lunatic right now so uh, with that, let us say our praise do unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hope members of the elect. Um, shalom.